Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it is my joy to visit with you again. I hope and pray that everyone had a wonderful Easter. I think it was really a special time as we gathered together. Amy did an amazing job uh, and her monologue as she portrayed Mary Magdalene. And you know, my friends, it was so good to worship together. I was glad to see many of you that gathered with us on Easter morning. And personally, it was incredible. I was incredibly grateful that Dee was home from the hospital. You know, since my last video, Dee had an emergency uh, triple bypass heart surgery and spent, I guess it was eight days in the hospital. You know, when you don't have something, it makes you appreciate it more. And I just really appreciated having her home for Easter. But I want to thank you. We have felt the support of so many prayers. Dee has really enjoyed reading your cards and all the notes that we received. Your love, your prayers are encouraging her through a recovery that, as you may guess, isn't going as fast as she thinks it should be. But you know, the weather's been really nice. We've been getting outside each day for some short walks. And through it all, she's keeping a good attitude. Well, my devotion today, I'd like to center on a Sunday scripture lesson where Jesus appears to his disciples and where he encounter, has an encounter with Thomas. It's recorded in John 20. But you know, over the years when I've had a chance to look at this particular passage, I think Thomas gets a bad rap for doubting what he's been told. The other disciples have seen Jesus, but Thomas wasn't with them when they had that encounter. I want you to look at it for, with me for a moment and look at it from Thomas's perspective. Was he the only one in those days who was still thinking logically and acting with a sense of reasonableness in spite of his heart being filled with grief and sorrow? Maybe from where he sat, were the women uh, imagining things just because they were so sorrowful, so filled with the pain of the loss of Jesus? Could the disciples be hallucinating? Was it wishful thinking, frazzled nerves? Thomas was acting out of all that he could understand, and there was nothing to prepare him or help him understand how this could be possible. And so Thomas declares all that his mind can think and says, well, unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and I put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. It was reasonable. It was logical. It would be a week later when Jesus returned and in a familiar voice said, Peace be with you. Can't you just imagine Thomas's mind whirling into action? Who said that? Am I going mad too? And then turning to see who was speaking, Jesus said to Thomas, put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hands, put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. My friends, Jesus offered Thomas all the proof he demanded and more. And yet seeing and hearing his voice, Thomas was convinced. Thomas was still struggling to figure out how this could be true. It's impossible, isn't it? And yet, while he didn't really understand, in an instance, all of his doubts and fears were gone. His whole being just wanted to shout for joy. Jesus is risen. And in that moment, that's when he made his famous exclamation, my Lord and my God. You know, we can learn a valuable lesson from Thomas. You and I need a faith that is willing to take risks and ask probing questions. We need to lay it on the line and have courage like Thomas to ask critical questions. We need to be able to press on through life's storms and uncertainties. There are questions I still have that I haven't figured out. We need to be willing to hear the answers that turn our world upside down, that defies logic, demands the unreasonable, and breaks up our neatly orderly world. 
We need to be willing to risk believing the impossible. We need to know in our hearts of hearts that for God, anything is possible. You know what, my friends? Thomas' story, Thomas's story gives all of us hope that even when we have doubts, fears, questions, God will meet us where we are. And as we work out our questions, it will strengthen our faith and it will help us to believe. My friends, it's a great story. Thomas believed, but Jesus said, even it is greater for those who have not seen and yet believe. My friends, let us learn from Thomas. Let us realize that with Jesus and God, all things are possible. Amen. Well, I have several announcements about Wesley Church and upcoming activities. Uh, let me kind of bring them, uh, bring you up to speed about these things. Our service on Sunday will be online only, on, online only at 9 a.m. We're joining United Methodist Churches across the Susquehanna Conference for a shared worship service. We're going to be blessed by the musicians from Elm Park United Methodist Church. And you're going to hear the Reverend Judy Walker, the Scranton Wilkesbury District Superintendent, bring the morning message. I hope you'll enjoy uh, this special service uh, offered by the conference and shared uh, with all the churches across the conference. Also this Sunday, um, the adult Sunday school class is beginning a new study. Jeff Miller will be leading the study on Max Licato's book, Before Amen. This study helps us to learn to pray better, stronger, and with more fire, faith, and fervency by teaching us to do three things. To distill prayers in the Bible down to one pocket-sized prayer. To remember that the Good Shepherd has authority over your life. And to learn that prayer is simply a heartfelt conversation between God and his child. There are two copies at the moment of this book um, available in the church office for those wishing to join in this study via Zoom. Please contact Jeff Miller or Christopher Albright to be included in the online contact list for the class. All are welcome. Then we will resume in-person worship next Sunday, April 18th, and we'll be worshiping in the sanctuary and also continuing to live stream our service. For all in-person services, please contact the church office by phone or email to reserve your place. Wesley Preschool is partnering with Duck Donuts in Mechanicsburg for a fundraiser on April 18th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Who doesn't love a donut? So stop by Duck Donuts on Carlisle Pike to help out the preschool. And finally, the Wesley Vacation Bible School will be held July 18th through the 22nd. We are currently building our leadership team. If, you're, if you would like to help out, please contact Amy Whitworth. Well, let's close our time together with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, we all have questions, doubts, and fears from time to time, just like Thomas did. Help us to have the courage to be open about them and work through them with you so that our faith can be made stronger and we can fully believe in you. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friends, thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe. Bye.